Joe Palmer here, and it's been a while since I've done any uh, videos. Uh, a lot of things have been going on over the last uh, few months. Sadly, my uh, younger brother passed away just about a week or so ago, so uh, something to deal with there. But I wanted to address <laughs> this morning, just real quickly, uh, I, I watch Fox News in the morning. You know, I don't like the other networks, and... Uh, I usually get, you know, a little bit of interesting news, although I'm getting tired about, you know, listening about Trump and I'm getting tired about the border crisis. I mean, you know, you know, get off beating that drum. But one thing that I, I've got to say, in my opinion, Fox News has always said that they're fair and balanced. Uh, recently, uh, there have been some incidents with air, air, airplanes. Uh, there, there was one case where uh, a tire fell off on takeoff. Well, uh, just as an aside, that plane's got 14 tires, so uh, landed safely. Uh, there was another incident where uh, there was an engine fire on a plane. Uh, come to find out that plane was 17 years old, and what caused the fire was that it ingested bubble wrap. And guess what happened? You know, bubble wrap burns. Um, and then there was another case where uh, an aircraft ran off the uh, the runway. Well, that's not the fault of the plane. You know, I'd be talking to that pilot and crew, see what's going on there. But what leads me to this video is that Steve Ducey in particular, uh, on reporting, uh, particularly again on the a uh, tire falling off of this United flight as it took off. Uh, you know, they all centered this stuff on Boeing. And you know, whether you're a fan of Boeing or not, let's get real. How many flights was that plane where the tire fell off in operation? I can tell you, the, 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 guarantee you, this was not the first dance for that plane. It was taken off and landing how many hundreds of times, a thousand times? Who knows? Don't you think that maintenance on the ground would have been checked at the lug it would have checked the lug nuts, you know, <laughs> on that tire? Uh, it's supposed to be part of their their pre-flight check. But I don't know. But Fox News ran that story a couple of times and never once, never once to my knowledge, did a follow-up with United Airlines about the maintenance documents on that aircraft. Now, you want to talk about that engine fire, uh, and it really wasn't a fire, it was more like spurts. Um, it was burning something. I don't know where it ingested the bubble wrap. It might have been on the ground, but when I was in the Air Force many, many moon ago, uh, we had what they called FOD, foreign, ordin foreign Object Damage or Foreign Object Debris. And many times we would actually go down the runway making sure that there were no articles or items that could get ingested uh, into an aircraft engine. I mean, you know, one of the reasons the... Uh, uh, supersonic uh, jetline uh, crashed over in France was that it picked up foreign debris uh, or it ran over something. Um, so, you know, why don't we investigate those things instead of just coming on the news with these spectacular things? And then I think that that airplane that ran off the runway, that may, might have been an Airbus. I, I, I'm not sure on that. But in any case, did Boeing, in any of these incidents, maintain that engine that caught fire? That aircraft was 17 years old. 
17 years old, long time since it left the factory. Don't you think somebody would have been checking it? You know, uh, you know that tire falling off, hey? If you take a trip on vacation and you were to bring your car to your car dealership, don't you think that you would ask them to check the, check the tire pressure and check your wheel alignment and all that sort of stuff? I mean, common sense. So get off your kick, Fox. If you're going to report a story, then do a follow-up on it. And that's all I got to say about that. So anyway, I hope everyone is doing well, you're staying healthy, and may God bless.